We have several schools from Roma all the way to West Lico, middle schools and high schools. We have a total of 19 teams that turned up. It's an underwater robotics for Sea Perch. Uh, we're using this year's regional qualifier and last year's national competition. So those two cumulative points give them the uh, pass to the national event. So the top two teams from here, it could be two middle schools, two high schools or middle school, high school. They move on to the University of Maryland to compete on June 1st and 2nd. Our students had the idea of what could they do to help promote STEM fields in our communities. And so one of the things that came out of it was having fun with science and robotics and engineering. We all just get to come together and have fun and build something that's like really cool. It's fun mostly because like, like La Joya, is, we're all here, we're mostly all here and we just come to compete. We're competing to go through many different obstacles. There's like you have to go through rings, you have to pick up items, you have to hit things like open levers. We get to see how other people build it and how they think it's best. And then we have our own opinions and everybody just competes to be the best. Like I designed these propellers right here with a program named SolidWorks. I designed these because so that it could catch more water faster, it could go also faster. And I also designed this here magnet holder to hold the magnet so that when it gets close to the, uh, I think it's a beacon, it gets off and get, it scores more points. I'm actually happy that we have our own facility because instead of having to go from like where I live all the way to like somewhere in Mission, it's like right here, it's in La Jolla. La Jolla ISD has lots of good resources that we could use, so this is one of them. I'm very thankful that at, in our area, we're able to host events like this so we don't have to go out of our area to do that. So our natatorium, the planetarium, the facilities that we have here at the sports complex, it's outstanding. It really makes a difference in having good, healthy activities for kids and good ways for them to practice their skills and work collaboratively in something positive.